Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I think all of you know what's about to happen. As usual, I posted something new or different on a training clip, and that invariably leads to a lot of questions. A whole lot of questions. In fact, I'll link the original video from last night here, and you guys can see for yourselves how many people don't know the difference between a Romanian deadlift, a stiff leg deadlift. And so let's get into that a little bit. Let's kind of look at uh, the difference there. A lot of people don't understand that a stiff leg deadlift in essence is just a normal conventional deadlift done with stiff legs now there are all sorts of variations you can do to where you do them off of blocks and stands and everything else but those are variations of the exercises even the rounded back version which i have demonstrated for you guys in the past i think i might have even done a demonstration video on it uh, because again the stiff leg deadlift is intended to work the lower back more so it's intended to be a strengthener for the lower back because you're getting less quad involvement a little less uh, glute involvement, things like that. So you're trying to work the lower back more and the thoracic erectors a lot more. That was the whole point of the stiff leg deadlift. And if you're going to do it off of blocks or off of a deficit with a bigger range of motion because you can extend the weight lower down, then it becomes a, a more hamstring dominant exercise. So it really just depends on what you're doing with variations of it. Because remember, you can do deficit stiff leg deadlifts, you can do them off blocks, whatever. The Romanian deadlift, however, was invented based upon observing Eastern European lifters doing some eccentric based deadlifts. And in the West, they started calling these Romanian deadlifts. This was done all the way back in the 1950s. The Romanian deadlift has had kind of a clear definition in weightlifting circles going back over 60 years at this point. So it's something that's well-defined and well-understood. It is an eccentric based deadlift because normally a deadlift, because you pull off the ground off of the floor, that's why we call it a deadlift. The word's dead lift you're lifting from a dead stop off the floor. And that makes it a concentric focused exercise because you don't have to even have an eccentric. You can pull the full heavy explosive concentric rep explosively from a dead stop. You could turn loose of it if you want. Uh, many lifters do that. Or you can lower it control or you can lower it fast. You have all sorts of eccentric options, but it will always be a concentric based lift because that's where the most muscle fiber recruitment is, is trying to break it off the floor. The Romanian deadlift does the opposite. It's an eccentric based deadlift because you start at the top of the movement and you lower the weight controlled with just enough knee bend to put a stretch on the hamstrings. And when you put that stretch on the hamstrings at the bottom, as you see my girlfriend doing here in the demonstration video or the clip we took yesterday, but once you put that stretch on the hamstrings, it creates what's called a stretch reflex or a myotatic reflex, which means you, you stretch the muscle and then immediately lift in a somewhat explosive manner, a quick manner. And what that does is that it allows more muscle fiber recruitment uh, starting at the bottom and going all the way up to the top. It's a way to engage more muscle fibers on each rep in a given muscle. And it will take focus up off other muscles in the group, but because you're hitting the hamstrings really hard on a movement that utilizes the glute and the whole thoracic lumbar sling, it will activate the glutes extremely heavily as well. So the Romanian deadlift is one of the best exercises ever for putting meat on your glutes and your hamstrings at the same time due to that myotatic reflex that it creates on the hamstrings. And uh, that is what's so special about the exercise. It's no longer a concentric based deadlift. And in fact, it is no longer even a deadlift. The Romanian deadlift is just kind of slang for the fact that it's based off of a deadlift in terms of being a similar exercise, but it actually isn't a deadlift at all by any of the classical definitions of the word. It is an eccentric based exercise for the entire posterior chain. And so that is the big difference. It has an eccentric focus and a stretch reflex at the bottom with no touching of the floor. That's the Romanian deadlift. A stiff leg deadlift is a deadlift done with stiff legs. So it, because they both have deadlift in there, even though the Romanian deadlift isn't a true deadlift, it creates a lot of confusion. And one other point, I saw several people say, and this is the most absurd thing I've ever heard anyone say about a deadlift like this, or like a Romanian deadlift is supposed to be done with the bar touching your body or legs the entire way down. That would be silly because the whole point of a Romanian deadlift is to create a stretch reflex on your hamstrings. And if you were to do that, you're actually going to have to lift a lot less weight and you're putting a lot more focus into like your shoulder joints and uh, shoulder extension trying to maintain the weight that way and you're not going to get the same stretch because the bar is all the way forward 
you're not stretching the hamstrings as far at the bottom so you actually would be reducing the entire benefit of doing a romanian deadlift so i'm not sure where several people came up with that but it's uh, silly there's nothing to do with any historical uh, or, or classic use of this exercise so it's something someone new must have made up on the internet or a couple of people's trainers made up but i've never heard that and it would actually be counterproductive towards uh, the the entire goal of performing a Romanian deadlift. So hopefully that clarifies some things and, and people understand the difference between these two exercises a little more now. If you guys like this video, please remember to click like down below. If you do, it is so appreciated. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.